Hey, Tuna, are you still on this fake Twitter that you said was mine? Are you still on that train? Are you still riding that car? Are you still on that right there? Is that what you're still going on about? Uh, I talked to Smack all over this Twitter account that wasn't even mine. Tell everybody that story right there. Tell everybody how you was going to lie talking Smack about the redneck Superman. And he, when it was brought up to your attention, somebody messaged you, said, hey, what is up? And you replied, Rednecks talking smack about me on Twitter. And when you were asked for proof, you showed your proof. It wasn't even my account. Why don't you bring that up? How people rile you up, gas you up, and get you all riled up with some screenshots, make you all mad, so you go live and talk some more smack. But then you block the person when they finally said, that's not the Redneck Superman's channel. When you sent it back, they sent you the real screenshot of my real Twitter account. <laughs> you blocked them. And you shut your mouth quick as anything could be, couldn't you? Ha ha ha! Oh, here we are again, folks. <laughs> People saying this. People saying that. People doing this. People doing that. I heard a live stream earlier. People going off. People talking. I want to know. Queenie. M.E.R. When is the last time I talked smack to any of you? When did I attack any of you guys? When have you seen me on any live streams? When have you seen the redneck Superman on a live stream talking smack? Using a platform. When's the last time you seen Jamie on a live stream talking smack? Using someone else's platform. When did this happen? Can you tell me? When did it happen? Show me the proof. Show me the proof. All I know is the redneck Superman took the other day, made a video showing how these screenshots are fake, and now everybody's mad. Talking about using platforms of other people. I ain't been on nobody's platform but my own. But sure enough, there was a platform I seen you being used the other night with a six-part PowerPoint presentation of nothing but utter old garbage, a propaganda hit piece <laughs> of fake info. It was so hilarious. MER, serious. You're my friend. I stood up for you. And somebody's on your live stream saying I talk smack about them. I, talk, I was talking smack about you, attacking you. No, I did not. <laughs> Where did this happen? Oh my God. You know, it's funny. Last night I was on the Twitter, 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 sitting here looking up some stuff and seeing some stuff that was BS, some people lying, some people just smearing the truth. And when, and when all of a sudden I tweeted out about how somebody's saying they know the identity of somebody else, but then somebody else says no one knows their identity. So, which is true, all of a sudden, Tina gets tuned up, turned up today. All of a sudden, Tuna is turned up today because people are getting too close to the I Am Wrath account. It's all this going down. Sitting here on these live streams talking about how everybody else is using somebody else's platform. But when I go to somebody else's live stream and I see a six part PowerPoint presentation being put up on somebody else's live, somebody else being used to promote their own agenda. But the finger is pointed at everyone else. I seen, I was watching a live stream. Somebody said their own phone number. They were so high, they didn't realize they were still alive. And blurted out their own phone number. Then the next day, blamed several other people in the community for doxing their own phone number. What sense does this make? I hear all this about the redneck Superman did this. The redneck Superman did that. Jamie did this, Jamie did that, 
They was over here talking smack on other people's platforms, using other people's platforms to further their own agenda. But it's never happened. We haven't been on nobody's live streams. We haven't been in nobody. I, I think Jamie was in Morticia's chat the other day. Is that why everybody's all up riled and spreading more hate? It's nothing but BS and propaganda. We have not attacked Pointy. We have not attacked MER. Then I hear everybody else getting up on that live stream. Co-signing. Co-signing. Talk about using, everybody's using everybody else's platform to further their own agenda. Where is this happening? Where? I have not seen, I haven't been on live stream. Jamie hasn't been, Bliss hasn't even been alive. That's all I know about. I can't think of who else they are. I can't, I don't know. That it's very confusing. Hey, um, thank you. It's an untruth that were spoken on that panel to give me the motivation to kick ass and take names in the gym today. Um, you know, I, I'm just, I know that I, I shouldn't be, uh, defending stupidity you know that I shouldn't feel like I have to defend every lie that's told you know and I should let my character speak for itself you know I know I'm a good person I know that I have stood up for some of these people that are now bad-mouthing me when it wasn't the popular thing to do you know it just it floors me because I've been in so many chats where I've heard um, fuckery and thought to myself, you know what, that's not right. You know, that's not the truth. And I have stood up for the truth, whether it be the right thing to do, you know, maybe I worded that wrong. I've stood up for the truth, even though it wasn't the popular thing to do. And I've lost friends over defending the truth. You know, all those people in that chat knows that what they're saying is bullshit. You know, and I just wanna say Allison Live, you know, you know me as a person, we've spoke privately on the phone, for you to get up there when I have defended you so many times, you've called me in the middle of the night to defend you, and you actually know what's going on, so for you to sit up there and perpetrate lies and not stand up for what's true, like, I, I don't care if you wanna be friends with cult members, I don't care if you wanna be friends with sheep, but you know what's right and what's wrong. And what you're doing is wrong because you know the truth, okay? Um, M.E.R. and Queenie, uh, when, when has Redneck ever said, it, when, when were you attacked? Let's put it that way. Let's get the proof of this attack out there. If you're talking about the very few comments that I left on Queenie's video, well, maybe she needs to tell the truth and say that she had put out a video first running that mouth and then when she got called out on it she deleted it you know you guys want um to know the truth and that's you know mer and queenie love to go run behind bigger youtubers that will defend them when they go and poke poke at people and start fights with people and instead of standing up for themselves when they've started fights they go run behind um cult nation cult up nation over there and and the rest of it you know don't start none won't be none that that's how you say it um tuna don't start none won't be none okay um kickstand you know i i understand that you and i were it, it was a very sad situation you know we broke up it is what it is Okay, but for you to go and perpetrate more lies that I was somehow ungrateful to you, I can prove a thousand times how grateful I was for you helping me. Very grateful that you helped me. When we broke up, I tried my best to take the high road and not bash you. You know, when um, Wolf and, and other people were saying you were a pedophile, I went and defended you um, because I'm, like I said earlier, I will defend the truth, whether it's the popular thing to do or not. You know, I didn't dox you, I didn't harass you, I didn't bully you. 
but you knew that my problems with Cult Up Nation over there, it would be so easy for you to go run up behind those people and use that platform to bully and harass me. You want to add anything? Uh, I can't think of anything right this second. Okay, um, Angie, I want to know what the hell I've done to you, except for call you out on your bullshit, that you have to continuously dox me, bully me, and harass me. Okay, I have proven to multiple people that I have severe PTSD, and you guys put my life in danger, and you're making me feel unsafe. Okay? I just want to be left alone. I want Redneck to be left alone. You know, we're not bothering you guys. You know, I don't want to have to come back to YouTube every couple of months and I'm still being talked and talked about and bashed for whatever freaking reason. You know, the whole situation with Tuna and me and Redneck started years ago. She started it. You know, we fought back. And it doesn't matter if we call truces, if I leave for six months or a year, I come back and she's still on the same old bullshit because that is what Tuna's content is. It's bullying people and harassing people and lying to her little fan, fan base that she's being bullied and she's being harassed and it never freaking ends. And then you have people like M.E.R. and Queenie, or, oh no, you have people like Angie and Kickstand who go and use bigger YouTubers' platforms to seek revenge on the people they feel have um, done them wrong. I have never went to any bigger YouTubers' platform and tried to use them to fight my battles or defend me. Anything else you want to add? Yeah, because that's one thing I think I heard him saying was how it's about using everybody else's platforms. And I don't know who all they were. I don't know if we're included as in me, you, and some other people. How we're going to all these other platforms spreading lies and discontent in the community. And I, I know I heard something about me and you attacking M.E.R. and Queenie. And I, that wasn't in the case. Yeah, when did that I, happen? I, I, I defended M.E.R. When, on Bliss's panel. And Bliss like, I hate M.E.R. I did like, you well, even know that M.E.R. didn't like you? I thought I you know. thought you were cool with her. I know. I never said nothing to her or Queenie in like... Months. Six months to a year. Exactly. You know? Nothing negative. No, I just went and did... You go look at my channel. There's nothing about Queenie or M.E.R. on my channel or on my Twitter. Yeah, because <laughs> we have other content on our channels. You know, I mean, this is just getting ridiculous. Like, you guys, and, and if Tuna doesn't think that Angie isn't trying to make her lose her platform, like, did you hear the voice clips? Did, did you hear her, how she tries to run Tina? Yeah. Um, yeah, there's, there's something else that's brought up, Tuna brought up again today, how her number was doxxed by Morty and them again. Oh, yeah, like, she doxxed like, herself. Hour ago, Tina said it, Tina gave out her own number on her own live stream. <laughs> right. And and with the YouTube new rules, like if you guys think that what you're doing is OK and that you won't lose these platforms, you're wrong. You know, eventually it's going to catch up to you guys and you're going to lose your platforms. You know, you can't sit on these uh, platforms anymore. And, and Tuna, you have over 10,000 subs. OK, and you're going after me. I think I have 500 subs and you're letting all these people around you um, like. Uh, fire you up, rile you up, and lie to you to use you to bully people with your big platform, it's not fair. Okay? It's bullshit is what it is. What other lies have been told? Oh, yeah. Redneck wasn't calling you names on Twitter. You know, that that's, that's shitty to say. I don't body shame people. I don't dox people. I don't... Um, <sighs> What, what else? I don't talk about their kids. Yeah. I don't talk that's... about their dads. I don't talk about any of that bullshit. Okay? So for for you guys, for, for Tuna, as soon as, okay, because I used Carrie to, to send messages to Tuna. Yeah. What did Tuna do when she realized that she had the wrong Twitter of yours? Yeah, accusing me of some stuff I said on Twitter. Didn't even, even do. Wasn't even your Twitter. Twitter. Then she blocked Carrie. <laughs> so... Then blocked Carrie. 
Because she knew she got caught up. She got caught up because I kept telling her, these people are lying to you. Isaac and you have both told her, everybody's lying to you, Tuna, to get you riled up to go live and talk smack. And, and another thing, when the hell is my relationship with um, anybody, any of your goddamn business? It's not your goddamn business. Whatever happened between Kickstand and I, because you go up there and you lie about stuff that I can easily prove is wrong. You said that I didn't prove to you. I went to you in November. I said, you guys are doxing my house, my family members, my children, everything, and making me feel unsafe. I sent you proof that I have PTSD, and you still continued. I wasn't even on YouTube. And then the second I come back, and I turn the channel, guess who's being talked about? Me, because that's what you do when you run out of content. Mark my words, come this time next year, now that she's going to get the gag order and she can't talk about fucking uh, Pickle Boy anymore, mark my words, she won't go start another feud with Papa Grizz. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah I, or I, Ray Ray, been, or Bliss. They've already been laying a seed to start a feud she, with she Papa is. Grizz. I've, been, I've already seen it. They're laying because a seed. that is her only content. That's what it's been for four years. She, she gets in her little mod chats and says, who can we fuck with today? Okay, well let's let's go make troll accounts and say that that uh that uh, Bliss is making troll accounts and so is Kara and so is Jamie and Redneck and then we'll go tell all the people in Boss Up Nation that they're fucking with us so we can sit there and feud with them and have content for a few months. It's it's got to stop. You know, YouTube has like changed the rules against harassing and bullying people. And if you don't think that you won't be deplatformed for this tuna, you have another thing coming because there's only so much more of this shit I'm going to take. Yep. Anything right. else, babe? I can't think of anything else right now. All right, that's it for right now, Please guys. Like the gym, tired. I'm I sweaty. kicked ass. <laughs> thank you, thank you for talking shit and lying and and getting me all riled up. I appreciate it. Because we we did legs. <laughs> no, it. today was leg day. All right, bye, guys. And keep my man's dick out of your mouth, bitch.